What's going on? I was just wondering if you could help me get out. I'm not convinced that polygamy is essential. And I need your help. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All I heard is I'm not going. I don't get the truth. That's what they're gonna die. With all seriousness, get behind a freaking car. My father sexually assaulted me as a child many times. The difference with Rachel is she wasn't actually an escape. She was already out. Rachel's mission was to reach her sister, Teresa, and tell her the truth about what her father had done to her. It was unlike anything I'd really experienced, and that's why Rachel Jeff's attempt to help her sister, Teresa, know the truth about Warren Jeff's comes in at number five. Rachel's up by the house, looking at the back door. She's getting ready to move. Do you think we should just tell Rachel to pull back? She's so determined to get her sister. I'm so nervous. She's up on the porch. Brandon, do you have eyes on Rachel? Brandon? I don't see her. She's here. I don't see Teresa. Oh my gosh, do you see that? There's a light on in the tower. We gotta go now. Come on, guys, hurry, hurry. Yeah. Let's go, let's go, hurry. We're getting out of here. I tried really hard. I'm really disappointed. I ran across the porch and up to the upstairs door, and it was locked. And so was the other door. I'll never give up on Teresa. Rachel Jeffs isn't the only one of Warren's kids that wanted to leave the religion. Yeah, one of his sons, Isaac Jeffs, knew he wanted to leave the cult. And his brother Raymond reached out. Do you want us to give him a message? Um, just to let him know that I'm here for him. I was really intimidated. We had never before broken a man out of the FLDS group. And not only was this a guy, this was Warren Jeff's son. I want to go and make a life away from the religion because if I stay, I won't be choosing my own life. Isaac Jess was living and working in Denver with other FLDS men. These men, they were really faithful. They would do anything to make sure the son of Warren Jeffs wasn't going to be leaving. I really thought like we were in for our most confrontational escape. I'm nervous as <laughs> Brian, we got the guys coming out of the shed. What's happening? We have company. One more guy coming out of the shed. We gotta get out of here. Where's Isaac? Oh, he's in jail out of his truck. What the hell, man? I'm sick of this. Hey, hey, don't do that. Yes. We gotta go. Okay, go. Your tire's going flat. Drive on the tire as far as you can. And we're going to put everything in my truck and get out of here. Just go. Jessica, go. Go, go, go. What is it? I have to pull over right now. We're not even off the property yet. Let's get the stuff out so it's not weighing down on it. I'll put stuff in the back of my truck. Throw it up there. We gotta go. The men have also been victims of the brainwashing and everything that goes along in these polygamous groups. It's not just the women and children. The men, they need emotional support too. Isaac is one man that we help. Another one is Jesse. I'm just looking for the truth. I'm not convinced that polygamy is essential for our exaltation. Jesse's was an interesting situation because he was coming from the Apostolic United Brethren. Jesse was married in the AUB group to two women by the name of Amber and Shelby. They're sisters, and he was expected to take a third wife. But he saw how hard that life is for his two existing wives, so he didn't want to do that again for a third time. So what's your plan? Are you leaving the family, or just? No, no, I, uh, I'm taking my whole family. That's the thing that's so much different about Jesse is 
here he was with two wives and eight kids, and he didn't want to live this, but what was he supposed to do? And in this escape, there were so many moving parts because not only did we have just one person in a family, we had eight kids, we've got two wives, and we'd never been in an AUB community before. And that's what we were walking into. OK, there's no way to do this without being seen. No. We were preparing for so many different things for Jesse and his family to get out, but it took a turn we never expected. You guys see the lights up ahead is the neighborhood that we're going to. It's this one right here on the right. You ready? Ready. Well, hi, guys. Hey. The moving truck should be here any minute. Yeah, just tell us what to do. Oh. Here's things to wrap glasses. They're loading it. Holy oh, coach out. Oh, look, look, look. This guy right here. Look in that front window on the right. Someone's walking in front of that door. Yep. I just think they're getting a game plan together. There he is in the window. All right, here, the lights are out. Oh. That's a freaking laser. Is it on a gun? Go inside, go inside, go, go, go inside. Jesse, can I talk to you real quick? Yeah. The guy outside was pointing a laser pointer at us, and our concern is that that was a gun. I know he owns an AR-15. With probably a laser pointer on it. The trouble is, is that I used to be a part of a religious militia type organization. So basically you're I was a part of the AUB security force. Yeah, you know, this is what this is what we trained for. I think it's time to get the hell out of here. Let's get the cars loaded. Here. Here's a key. Yes. The laser is going again. Uh, you guys, with all seriousness, get behind a freaking car. We got to get everybody out of here. OK. Everybody gone. Go, go. Go right that way. <laughs> Come on. Get in the car, get in the car. Let's go. Get in the car. We only have one more escape before showing you the most dramatic escape that we have encountered. But I gotta tell you, number two is a pretty strong contender. We all personally have very strong feelings about this one. Over the years, there has been a person who is still inside the Kingston cult who has been sending information our way. I'm reaching out to you from inside the order. But this person has remained anonymous this entire time because they don't feel safe to share their identity with us. They've secretly recorded Kingston church meetings. Informed us when raids were gonna go down. This is kind of like the bank of all the Kingston businesses. So when the insider said they needed to get out, we did not hesitate to respond to their call. The insider wanted us to pick them up at Washakie Ranch. I just knew that the people at Washakie, they were just unpredictable because we lived there. We know what it was like there. And that's why the insider's escape is number two. I don't see anybody. Everybody stay in the car. Where are they? They've got to be here. Hello? Hey, I'm with Jessica. Hello? I'm seriously getting physically ill sitting here. This is crazy. <gasps> oh, my god. What was that? I'm here. I'm here. That's, you guys, what, who is that? I got it over here. That's them. Hey, Matt, we got a car coming straight at us. That car's from the ranch. There's lights down here. This person's seen them. They're scared to death. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I have way too much to lose. You're not going? I'm sorry. I have way too much time. Go. Get a hold of the girls later. Just go. Get in the car. Let's get out of here. Oh, I heard is I'm not going. Don't get the police. We got people everywhere. 
We got incoming. Go so now. Hi there. What the hell are you doing? Oh, we're just cruising around. Stay off the property. You know what the hell I'm talking about. All right, huh? That was an order, guy. That was the order. And finally, we reach one of our most memorable, emotionally charged escapes. And it's with one of our sisters trying to get out of the Kingston clan. Are you OK? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? She was tired of the abuse, both spiritually and physically. I had met Melanie earlier that day. And then next thing I know, I get a call saying, Daniel has found out I'm trying to leave, and he is on his way here. It's not going to happen tomorrow. It's happening right here, right now. You need to come get me tonight. We had no idea what was about to unfold. And that is why our sister Melanie comes in at our number one escape. Hello? Andrew, we're on our way to go get her. If Dal shows up, does she have the right to get her stuff? Yeah, get her stuff, but she should have a pop with her. We're here. I gotta go. I gotta go. Bye. She, she, Which she house was, is it? Like, yelling and arguing. No. 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 I'm leaving the order. Go. 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 She wants to leave. She should be able to go. You can't come in our house. I was invited by Melanie. Get out. Let her out. Break your window and get out. Get out. You cannot take her. Get out of our house. Get out. Is she now still in there? We heard yelling and we heard screaming, and so it sounded like she wasn't safe, and so we just opened the door and we just ran in and we just ran to the noise. Melanie, they don't need to come in for you to leave. Clearly, your mom was no. holding her in here. Get out. I don't want to leave her here with you. Get out! We're gonna push your way through our house. We will push you out. And push Get your out. way through your house. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. All right, then we're going to go talk. Yeah, how about um, you make sure you see her and that she's fine? Stay here. Sorry. Don't talk to me, sir. Thank you. Well, she's, she's downstairs waiting for you guys to help remove her stuff out, OK? Thank you. Where do I go? What do you want? Oh, my god. Is that everything on? Yeah. 